a little chunk of change. You'll work for me. Everybody got weaknesses, T. The hospital's making an offer for $25,000. That's a lot of doggone money. Not for our son's vision. Aren't you the one that said our new mandate was business first? <laughs> Yo, to you on board with this? Well, I know you're not questioning us. You're a foot soldier. Remember that. Oh. You can sign yourself to death for one. That's a risk I'm willing to take. What's going on, fam? It's your man, VKJ. And if you're new and you're loving BMF, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Absolutely like. Comment below with any theories, any thoughts. We're going to get into BMF Episode 5 Final Predictions. And then we're definitely going to get into what to really expect and what my predictions are, what I predict is going to happen. I'm going to do my best breaking down the trailer that we just saw. And if you have any predictions, absolutely. I want you to comment below. Definitely. Let's talk about it and let's absolutely discuss it because, yeah, this definitely is heating up with everything going on and we're going to break it down. If you miss any episodes, definitely check out all my recaps. We have the BMF playlist, so you can just go to the playlist, hit that BMF playlist, and you can see all the recaps so you can be all caught up on everything. So now let's get caught up on this here. I mean, again, it's heating up. We're going to get right into what the final predictions are for this episode. Uh, Meech and Terry are going through it right now. And we definitely have to see exactly how they're going to redeem themselves, how they're going to get everything back in order, right? So you remember that they got the new spot. Everything was going well with the food truck and everything, but they lost it all to the 12th Street Boys and they stole it all. So now as we look at this trailer, let's break it down. We see Pat again offering uh, Detective Bryant some money. And the reason why he's offering him some money is because you know, it looks like things are getting a little thin for Pat as far as, you know, his connections, as far as his pull, as far as a lot of things. So he needs more connections. He needs a deeper connection. And he's reaching out now and talking with Detective Bryant. Now, we already know Detective Bryant already has ties with Meech and Terry, right? Meech and Terry, they're paying them off to protect them, to do certain things for them, you know, to keep the cops and keep everybody off them. But because the state police has come in, because there's now more, you know, of a enforcement to crack down on on dealers and everything else like that. Detective Brian is definitely in a pickle. Detective Brian is definitely in a situation where he now has to really assess where he stands on the force and where he stands in the streets. Again, so, you know, he's already deep with Meech and Terry. And, you know, in the last episode, we saw that he wanted out. He wanted this to be over. You know, he's saying that his boss is coming down on him. They arresting people and me just like he ain't having it. So I predict that Detective Bryant won't take the offer from Pat because he's already working with Meech and Terry. Now we have uh, Pastor Swift's niece and her niece. The niece is uh, working the case, the malpractice case for Terry's situation. Um, the hospital wants to settle for twenty five thousand dollars, as we discussed. Again, Charles is in a situation now where he's really trying to put things together. You know, as a man, you know, he's not making enough money. Uh, so he's trying to bring him together and bring Lucille and him back together. Him saying that it's a good idea to get to twenty five thousand dollars is, uh, you know, just his way of trying to get money into the family. But of course, this is not going to go over well. Twenty five thousand dollars is not enough. Um, as mentioned. Meech and Terry make way more than that on the street. So 25000 is not. And, you know, mom, she kind of knows that, has an idea about that. But mom is definitely going to be fighting for more, you know, for, you know, more for Terry's vision. Like they messed up. They need a bigger settlement. But this this uh, this disagreement is definitely going to cause more friction between Charles and Lucille and the family. Um, you know, they don't see things eye to eye. Uh, and that's because. Uh, Charles just has a way about, you know, handling things. And, you know, she definitely uh, wants the family to stay together. He wants it too, but, you know, it's definitely going to be more discrepancy between the two. Uh, hopefully they don't break up. I don't want to see that. Uh, but, yeah, there's going to be more discrepancies. She definitely is her own woman and uh, she's the queen. So it is what it is. Now, Meech and Terry... They have a situation now, right? Because the 12th Street Boys, they stole their money. They stole their, their product. They stole all that stuff. 
you know, so they definitely are thinking about how to, you know, infiltrate the 12th Street Boys. And as Meech mentioned, you know, everybody has a weakness. So we're going to find out exactly what that weakness is, what Lamar's weakness is. Maybe it is Monique and Zoe. Um, you know, maybe he's going to do something like that. I don't know. Uh, but we know from the trailer that we definitely see, you know, his boy Slick being tied up. And we're going to get into that. But they're definitely going to figure out a way to get at Lamar, to get at the 12th Street Boys. Because, you know, with all that stuff that they stole from the 50 Boys, from Meech and Terry, yeah, they're on a mission to get it back. And they will get it back. I believe Terry is going to tell Meech about the meetup with Big L. And I think this is going to make a major, major shift in the way that they operate. Of course, you know, Meech, he, he mentioned he's tired of asking for permission. Um, they're at the point where they're becoming so big and making so much money that, yes, Meech and Terry want to venture off. They want to venture off. So the meeting with Big L happened in that last episode. So I believe, again, this is going to be a major shift. We're going to see more of Big L in the next episode, how they're going to operate, how they're going to make that shift away from Pat, because that's the whole intention, right? The whole intention and the whole thing is that they are going to eventually cut Pat off. They're not going to need Pat anymore because now they have a direct supply, but they do have to get the money back, the bread back there, all that money that they made and all the product that they made, you know, like really they got to get the, the money back, you know, the product is not necessarily, you know, like a major thing. Uh, because remember, Pat didn't give him that much. Pat didn't give him that much. It was mostly the money that they stole. You know, they have they have a lot of bread from that food truck. They have a lot of bread from that rec center. So it's really the money so they can get the money to pay Big L so they can get everything all up front the way that they want it. And once that happens, Pat is definitely going to get cut off. Now, your boy Lamar, he's going to be going through it. He's going to be going through it even more so uh, as far as the dissension of the 12th, 12th Street boys, right? You know, they're questioning a lot of things about Lamar. They didn't want him in the leadership position anyway. But because, you know, J. Mo was was uh, shot down by B. Mickey and uh, <laughs> Lamar pretty much beat up Femel and told him to get out of town. And now Femel's out of town. He's in North Carolina. They don't know where he is. You know, Lamar's reign over the 12th Street Boys is definitely going to be there. He's still going to control it, and he's going to make sure that nobody's trying to take his crown, right? He's going to make sure that they know who he is and that he's the boss now. And that's everything that he wanted, right? So there's going to be more violence. There's going to be more display of Lamar and the way that he handles things. You know Lamar, he don't play, right? He's not playing, but now he's doing it in broad daylight. Now he's letting them know, like, listen, I'm going to rule this. We got the money. We're on top now. We stole it from the 50 boys, and nobody's going to ruin exactly my plan. So Lamar, we're going to see more of Lamar definitely showing himself uh, ruling over the 12th Street boys and making sure they know who's the boss. Uh, we're going to see more of that, but Lamar's going to get a surprise. He's definitely going to get a surprise that he did not expect. Now let's go to your girl, Kato. Man, Kato, 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 right? So, of course, they come up with a plan, right? The final prediction is that they come up with a plan to get at the 12th Street boys, all right? So, Meech and Terry, they come up with a plan, and they're telling the plan to, of course, the mole that's inside the 50 boys, which is Kato. I believe that Meech has a strong feeling that he knows, like, I really feel like Meech knows that she is the rat, right? Because it couldn't have been anybody else to give up the location of the stash. But now he's going to have her do something that she may not be comfortable doing. Of course, we know that she has a deal with Lamar, but she's trying to conceal that as long as she can. So I believe Meech and Terry, they may be setting her up to do something that she may not want to do to see if she's going to do it. And then turn around, catch her in the act of basically giving up information to Lamar. So again, Meech is going to remind her that she's not making an executive decision here. You're going to do it. You're a foot soldier. And that's what you are. So we're going to see 
more of Meech really, really cracking down on Kato and her little antics, man. Since the beginning, Meech did not like her, you know, cutting cutting the uh, the price short, right? Then messing up the product in the stash house. You know, now all of a sudden, all their money is gone and, and, the, and the product is gone. And Kato, you know, comes out of nowhere to save the day. Like, come on, you know, like, again, why would anybody else give up the stash house? Kato's going to get caught. We see T now with B. Mickey, and they are beating down your boy Slick from the 12th Street Boys. Now, I believe that Slick, to save his own life, I believe that he is going to give up whatever information that he's going to give up. They're going to beat it out of him. They're definitely going to beat it out of him. But he's going to give up some information that Lamar did not want him to give up, right? Because, again, Slick is trying to save his own life at this point. He's tied up. They kidnapped him. They got him in some place, some warehouse, some house somewhere. So to save his own life, I believe that he's going to give up some information. He's going to probably let, you know, Meech and Terry know exactly where they are stashing their money, the money that they stole, where they're stashing their drugs. You know, I, I believe that Slick is going to give up something. It may not be everything, but Slick is going to give up something to save his own life. And I don't know if he's still going to be living because B. Mickey's there. You know B. Mickey. Uh, B. Mickey be taking out the shoddy and just bam, you know, once you get the information or even if you don't get the information, B. Mickey is ready to blast. You know, B. Mickey is ready to blast off at any given moment. And that might be the reason why Meech is like, yo, you better give up, you know, my stuff, give our stuff back, the money, the drugs and everything else like that. So they might be keeping them, keeping slick as a ransom, right? Like you, you give up our money and our product, we'll give you your boy back. But hopefully B. Mickey doesn't blast slick, man. You know, B. Mickey be quick with the blasting, right? So, you know, Lamar definitely, I see him feeling threatened by this, absolutely having doubts about, you know, everything, but he's, he's really on some like, yo, you just signed a death wish for yourself, you know? So he is like ready to go to war, but has no idea what's really about to come for him. You know, he has no idea what's really about to come for him. Remember, Meat still knows where, you know, Monique lives and where Zoe lives. And I don't think he's going to do anything to them. But because of that information, Meech knows, like, <laughs> Lamar is definitely at a disadvantage. He's definitely at a disadvantage. And I believe Meech and T and the 50 boys, they're going to do whatever it takes to get their product back, no matter what. If it has to go extreme to a war, then that's exactly where it's going to go. So in this next episode, episode five, I believe this is going to be the beginning of the war that is going to start between the 50 boys and the 12th Street boys. I mean, it's been going on, but now I believe it's going to go to the extreme. It's going to go more physical, you know, more shots being fired. Uh, you know, I think more things are going to be coming out in this episode as far as the crackdown on Kato. Kato now is messing with B. Mickey, trying to take, you know, use B. Mickey for whatever, you know, she's going to have him to roll on her side. So whenever she wants to manipulate him, she'll try to manipulate him this way, you know, Meech and Terry don't find out that she's the actual mole. So B. Mickey's going to ride for her because now they're sleeping together, right? Um, your boy, who? He's going to ride for her a little bit because it looked like Cato came and saved him from being shot up by Lamar when they stole all the money and all the drugs out, you know, the 50 boy stash. So a whole lot is going to happen in this next episode, episode five. Those are my predictions. If you have any predictions, any thoughts on what I just talked about or the trailer, definitely go ahead and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm very interested to find out what your predictions are for the next episode. Again, it's heating up. Each and every episode is heating up. And we're going to see, is Kato going to finally get caught in this one? I don't think so. Maybe, you know, episode eight, maybe episode seven, I think it's going to be revealed. She's going to get hers, though. We know that she is definitely going to get hers for all the deception and everything else like that. Will be Mickey ride for her, ride with her, you know, or ride with the 50 boys. You know, he's loyal to Meech and he's loyal to Terry, you know. So what, what is it going to be? Definitely drop your comments and your predictions below. Can't wait. To see it tonight coming down, going down, episode five, 
for BMF. And you already know what it is. It's your man, Fade KJ. I'm out. Salute.